Um, joining us today is from North Texas, uh, head coach Seth Trail, quarterback Mason Fine, linebacker Joshua Wheeler, and safety Keyshawn McCain. Uh, I'm going to let Coach Trail open with an opening statement, questions for the players, followed by questions for the head coach. Coach? Uh, yeah, first off, I want to uh, congratulate Troy and Coach Brown. He's done a great job with that team, and um, it's a very good football team. And, uh, you know, really um, happy for those guys, um, but uh, more importantly, just proud of my team. Uh, you know, over the course of the season, uh, they've done a lot of great things and they've set a lot of new standards. I'm proud of them. I love them. And uh, win, lose, or draw uh, doesn't change uh, how I feel. But um, proud of the way these seniors fought and clawed and, and believed in our program and, and really everybody come together and, and uh, you know, starting to change and grow our culture. and, and Again, they've, uh, they have a lot to be proud of, so I don't want uh, this. I know this, this is never easy, and it's, it's painful, and it hurts. You know, we wanted to uh, accomplish the mission of winning our bowl game. Uh, we came up short on that, uh, but I still don't want that to overlook the fact that they've done so many great things, and I'm proud of them. That'll open it up. Players for, questions for the players. Uh, can you kind of speak to the uh, to the North Texas pass rush? I'm sorry, the uh, the Troy pass rush, uh, and uh, just was the, were they disruptive? Uh, kind of making it hard for you to have time. Yeah, you know, Troy's an overall you know great football team, and uh, yeah, their uh, their front seven, that defense line, you know, gave me fits all day. I always felt uncomfortable back there. I think we got in a rhythm a little bit throughout the second quarter, but that second half, um, yeah, just we never got in a rhythm, never got comfortable, and that's you know that's the dude. They're, to you know, a great a bunch of great players on that defensive line, and uh, even their secondary and linebackers, they made plays and they just they played a, an overall a good football game. Josh, you guys really struggled to stop them at all today. Can you just talk about what they did that gave you guys such problems? Um, they were um, they were very well coached on that side of the ball, and um, it was they just came out and made a lot of plays and. Um, it was just some stuff. It was a lot of plays that we were out of position, you know, and they schemed on it. And when you're not doing your job, that's what happens, you know. And give, I mean, give a lot of credit to Troy, you know what I'm saying? That's a good team over there. That's a good offense. But um, we could have played better on the defensive side of the ball the entire night. But, I mean, give them credit for, for getting the dub. Mason, with, um, with Jeffrey being out already and then um, Nick Smith being um, limited in what he could do, um, the run game was struggled to get going. Just how did that make life tougher on y'all as an offense? Yeah, not being able to get the run game made us one-dimensional. One and, uh, you know, that's really not what we – that's not our standard. It's not what we want to be. We want to be a balanced offense. But, again, you got to give the credit to Troy. They did a great job at stopping the run and uh, really made it tough on us to, to get the ball moving on the ground. And uh, I even felt like the, the secondary did a great job. So, yeah, we you know, we'll hit the offseason. We'll work on it. We'll get better. And uh, we'll get ready for next year. Coach, um, Rod Walker from the New Orleans Advocate. Uh, yesterday I talked to a lot of your players about Mason and just how tough he is. But what did you kind of see today? I mean, what did that show about his toughness, his ability to just keep coming back like that? I think everybody who watched the game uh, understands how tough he is. I mean, he took a lot of shots and, um, you know, kept getting up. And that's who he is. You know, he has that big heart. And he's going to give it everything he has. He's not going to quit. He's not going to quit on his teammates. That's why he's so respected in our locker room. And uh, if he's able to go, he's going to go. Before we get to any questions for Coach, do we have any more questions for the student athletes? Uh, Mason, you kind of touched on it, but the, the second half, were, were they doing anything different in that second half, or was it just uh, kind of beating one-on-one -on -one situations? You know. No, you know, I'm looking at the secondary. I didn't really see anything that they changed. I think they, you know, they played a little bit more one high than was expected coming into the game. But, you know, we'll go back, watch tape, learn from it. And, uh, you know, I, I can't tell if they changed anything up on the defensive line. I think, you know, they just uh, they had a great second half and beat us in the second half. That's what uh, great football teams do. Keyshawn, you guys talked a lot about coming into the season about accomplishing the mission, you know, to win a bowl game. Is it just tough for you guys to come in here and, and, and fall short in that regard in your, you know, your senior season? Oh, uh, yes, definitely, you know. We fell short, you know, we wouldn't accomplish our mission that we wanted to. Like we, like we said at uh, Team Go, uh, win our bowl game, you know, and that didn't happen tonight, you know. Troy's a great football team. We came up short.
Josh, y'all had uh, one sack on the night or on the afternoon. Uh, why was it so tough to get um, pressure on uh, Silvers, the quarterback? Um, they had a lot of um, they had a lot of good movement. You know, a lot of things with their offense, a lot of um, back releases. You know, a lot of things to keep you honest, to keep you on your toes. So um, we, we had to we had to be smart of uh, when we take our shots to uh, put pressure on the quarterback. And when we did, we had to just make them count. And it was a lot of times that we didn't make them count, but. <laughs> You know, it's just, that's, that's part of playing a good football team. Keyshawn, uh, the Troy offense had a lot of success throwing the ball, especially there in the second half. You know, what were they doing to kind of find some holes in the secondary there at the end of the game? Uh, we, we just got beat on the big plays. You know, we, we slipped up. We didn't make plays on the ball when the ball was in the air. You know, you got you to gotta do that in this, this type of game. You know, Division, division One football, make plays on the ball, be, a, be an athlete, just what you're here to do. And we came up short on that. We know we let too many big plays happen on, in the secondary. They had uh, Keyshawn, they had two guys, uh, in number 15 and 33, the receiver and running back, who weren't normally kind of their, their big play guys, but they stepped up with injuries today. Did you guys see anything, you see that coming into to this game, uh, kind of expecting those guys to step up into those roles? or? Well, we respected the whole team, you know, we respected the offense, you know, those guys just made big plays and did what they need to do, to, what their coach asked them to do, made plays, you know, they made it count. Any more questions for the student athletes back here? This won't be up for all the players. Uh, Andrew Dope uh, from WWL here in town. Just just looking at this season, being able to win nine games for North Texas, you know, being a part of a rebuild. I mean, that hasn't happened for for North Texas in, in quite some time. Um, if you could just speak to to what that means for the school and and to get things you know kind of rolling in the right direction. If you could start with Mason. Um, yeah, it's a it's a big step forward in the right direction of what we want to accomplish, and um, at North Texas, uh, you know we've accomplished a lot of things people didn't think we would accomplish this year. But uh, the uh, end goal was to win our bowl game. We didn't do that, so you know we're going to be hungry for next year, and we just set new standards every year. And I think the standards been met undefeated at home, and uh, compete for championships. And that's what we're going to do in. That's what we're going to do uh, year in year out. And that, you know, that's the standard, and that's where we want to be. We want to be a great football program in Texas. Mason, uh, Ryan Hancock, uh, Crescent City Radio uh, here in New Orleans. Um, I know I talked to your coach on Tuesday night about legacy. We, we, you know, he talked to me. We were talking about legacy. What do you want your legacy to be when you finish your career at North Texas? You know, I think first I want to be a, a great teammate. And, you know, I want to be someone that they can look up to as a leader, and I want to be able to accomplish the missions. And I want to be able to win football games and, and handle adversity well. So, you know, when games are on the line or, you know, things aren't going our way, I want to be able to, I want to be that spark for our team. I want to be that person everyone looks up to and knows that they can count on me. And, uh, and that's what you got to do at the quarterback position. You know, there's always going to be eyes on you. You know, you're going to be that kind of a leader no matter what. So I just want to be able to, you know, to, uh, you know, put our offense, put our team in the best situation to win and win championships. I think now in championship games, bowl games and championship games, we're 0-3. And, uh, you know, that's not our standard. That's not where we want to be. And you better believe it. I'm going to hit this offseason real hard, harder than I ever have. You know, I'm going to keep that chip on my shoulder. And I'm going to help myself and my teammates, teammates accountable to make sure we uh, improve next year and finish our, uh, our mission and goals next year. All right, questions for head coach? Talk a little bit about that start that really kind of put you guys behind the eight ball. You know, they score and then you turn around and turn over, and you, all of a sudden you're down 15 to nothing. Can you just talk about the impact that had on the game? Well, uh, you know, it's never great uh, to start like that. We, uh, you know, had a <clears throat> communication error on the uh, one play and it caused a fumble, and they got it there twice, really deep on their own territory. You know, you give a team like that two turnovers on that side of the ball that, that deep, it's, it's going to be challenging, but, uh, the, the, you know, that yeah, you don't want to start like that, Brett. But I was really proud of the way they came back and they fought back and and got themselves back in the game. And you know, I think it was uh, what was it, 2022 at halftime, and we had the ball coming out there in the second half, and uh, you know, felt like we could go down and put some pressure on them and score. Um, but we just again, um, you know, had that turnover and we just could never get back in it. We could never get back in rhythm. And then once you get down. 
uh, to 20 points, uh, you know, that late, or, you know, in the fourth quarter, you're going to have to start doing some different things and trying to get the ball down the field. And we had some opportunities, um, you know, that we, we've been pretty good at making all season. We just didn't, didn't uh, you know, couldn't finish some of them off today. Coach, the uh, the defense had some good stretches there in the first half, especially closing out. But um, the consistency was um, wasn't completely there. Um, just what did you see from your defense and um, <clears throat> just overall on the game? Just what you said. I thought in the first half they did some really good things. Uh, had some really good stops. We put them in two really poor situations. Uh, you know, turning the ball over on our own side. You know, but. With that being said, we still had opportunities to just get out of it and hold them to field goals, and we just couldn't uh, get that done. Overall, we have to be more consistent as a football team, offense, defense, and special teams uh, moving forward. What was it about Troy's offense that gave you guys such fits today? Well, I think they're one, they're a really good football team. Um, they're a good offense, and, you know, once you get back on your heels a little bit, it only takes a little bit, and once you get back on your heels and they start making plays. They start gaining momentum. They start moving the chains. And you got to be able to get off the field on third downs. And, uh, you know, we got to be much better. And just one last thing. You talked a lot about, you know, accomplishing the mission this year. And I know you're proud of your team, but is that tough to, you know, to, to get to a bowl game twice and just come up short like that? Yeah, it's hard to swallow, Brett. Um, you know. <laughs> That's that's why we that's why you have goals. That's why you have missions, um, you know, to accomplish them. And at the at the end of the day, uh, I'm the one held accountable for not accomplishing the mission. I'm the guy in charge, and so I got to do a much better job of uh, making sure that uh, we put ourselves in all the necessary positions to be successful. But like I'll say, Brett, nine years. I mean, 101 years. 101 years. Seven teams have won. Nine ball games. This group has a lot to be proud of. Um, that's a new standard. Undefeated at home, setting new standards. That's a legacy. Winning the West, being able to compete for a championship. Those are all great things. So, yep, I'm frustrated. Uh, we didn't accomplish the final mission of winning our bowl game, but I'm still very proud of this group and I love them. Seth, uh, they used their uh, their backup running back exclusively today. Chun wasn't available. Or were you anticipating he'd be uh, he'd be able to play? And then what did you see from uh, the, from the kid they threw out there today? I, I heard that you know he wasn't going to be able to play there later in the week, but it really doesn't matter. You got to face whoever's in there. I thought uh, he did a nice job of coming in, stepping up, making big plays for his team when he was counting on. Um, and and uh, you know again they ran the ball well.